Hey everyone, welcome. It's Naomi and today I'm going to jump up on my soapbox to talk about something that is really important to me, something that has been coming up a lot lately and I just cannot keep quiet about anymore, okay, because it's one of my biggest pet peeves and that is this. I am tired of hearing people in the online space saying that self-care doesn't work. Can we stop that? Can we stop telling moms that self-care doesn't work? Can we stop telling them to not take care of themselves? Can, can we like step away from that? Because it's not helpful, not even a little bit. I mean, listen, if I see another post that says something like, you know, self-care doesn't work or, you know, like self-care won't help you or self-care is not going to solve all of your problems, I am going to lose my shit. Okay, like I'm going to completely lose it. Okay, now I, I totally get it. Like in a lot of ways, I totally get it. Like a lot of times these posts are written by, you know, angry, frustrated, exhausted mommy bloggers, you know, um, of whom I have can identify as sometimes, okay, like, but who are basically so exhausted and so stressed out and so overwhelmed and so frustrated by the current state of their lives that, you know, they don't feel like they have time to take care of themselves. They don't feel like they have time for self-care. And so they're like, screw it all. Self-care doesn't work. Don't bother with self-care. Self-care is BS. <sighs> yeah, I hear you. It's just that that's not true. Okay, it's just not true. All right, you're just having a hard time right now, and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, sometimes it's not from the mommy bloggers. Sometimes, you know, it's from like the mom coaches, you know, of which there are many, in many different stripes who are trying to sell you something. <laughs> and they're like, self care doesn't work. But let me tell you what does. Here, try my really awesome system for XYZ 550, whatever, right? Like, okay. I'm sure that your system is amazing, but don't use the idea that self-care doesn't work for your own personal gain because it's just not true. They're different things, okay? Just stop. Just stop with the idea that self-care doesn't work. It is not helpful for anyone ever. I mean, it's mostly not helpful for moms, right, who get all kinds of conflicting messages all the time, especially about self-care, you know, who often feel that self-care is just one more thing to put on their to-do list and they're just like, ugh, the last thing that I need, right? And so when you say to a mom, self-care doesn't work, you are basically validating all of those excuses for why she can't take care of herself, right? You are literally giving her permission to give up. You're giving her an out. Okay, is that even remotely helpful? Spoiler alert. No, it's not. I mean, here's the big problem. The really, really big problem is that most of these people who are railing against self-care and saying that self-care doesn't work aren't really considering the whole point of self-care, like what the actual purpose of self-care is. Okay, most of them are using it as an excuse right? Again, either for their own personal gain or, you know, just to give themselves an out, okay? The, the point of self-care is not, you know, like big things like curing cancer or, you know, solving the world hunger crisis or, you know, like um, world peace, you know, like the, the point of self-care is not to get like all the world leaders of every country together in some like amazing kumbaya moment, <laughs> like that is some crazy BS about self-care. It's just not true. That's not the point of self-care. You know, self-care, like the, the point of self-care might not even be that you don't yell at your kids as often. I mean, I wish that was the case, but that's not necessarily the point of self-care. Okay. The point of self-care isn't even necessarily to make you a better mom. <sighs> the point of self-care is to make you a better you. And I don't mean that because you're not a good you right now. Like, let's actually break down the point of self-care, the absolute purpose of self-care. It's really simple, okay? The whole point of self-care is to take care of yourself. And in taking care of yourself, to make yourself feel a little bit more like yourself, right? To make yourself feel more balanced, to make yourself feel more grounded to make yourself feel more at home in your own skin, 
to acknowledge that you have needs and that your needs are as valid as anybody else's. Right? The whole point of self-care is really just to take care of you and to honor and celebrate yourself. Is that really a terrible thing? Is that something that we shouldn't be doing? Because I don't, I mean, that sounds kind of awesome to me. It's the kind of thing that I want to teach my kids or my best friend or even my own mom. I mean, here's the deal, y'all. When you are saying to a mom, a mom in particular, self-care doesn't work, you are essentially saying to her, taking care of yourself doesn't work. Taking care of yourself isn't a worthwhile endeavor. Why bother? Like, that's what you're saying to a mom when you're saying self-care doesn't work, okay? You're not telling her something valuable. You are telling her something incredibly damaging, deeply destructive. Is that really the gift that you want to give another mom with your words? God, I hope not, <laughs> because that's terrible. Okay, so what really needs to happen is that we need to get educated. Like, we need to start understanding what self-care actually is, not in terms of just taking care of yourself, but the idea that self-care doesn't fit into these tiny little boxes that we want it to fit in. Okay, self-care is not only relaxing. Sometimes self-care is stimulating. Okay, self-care isn't always calming. Sometimes self-care is energizing. Okay, what works for one person in taking care of herself might not work for somebody else, and that is 150% okay. So we need to get a little bit more clear about the idea of what self-care is and stop trying to put self-care into these boxes of spa day, massage, mani-pedi, you know, like, I don't know, just any of those things that are a little bit more geared towards traditional self-care, right? Self-care can look like all kinds of things, but the more you try to put it in a box, the more you're going to make a mom feel like, well, that's inaccessible, right? Not all moms can go get a massage every week. Not all moms like getting manis and petties. I don't. My daughter does. I do not. It is not fun for me. True story. Okay, so stop with this harmful misinformation about self-care. Stop with the languaging of self-care is doesn't work. Okay, stop giving moms permission to ignore their own needs. And stop telling moms that taking care of themselves won't work because it does. Okay, it does in terms of doing the thing that it's supposed to do. All right, that is super, super important. Okay, I'm off my soapbox now, but that felt really important to say, and I hope it felt really important for you to hear. I hope that it gave you a new appreciation for what self-care actually is and also what it's not what self-care is intended for, and also what it's not, and to recognize that using your words more mindfully matters. Okay, use your voice to uplift women instead of pushing them back down. Right, that is super important, particularly if you're in a position of power. Like if your voice carries far and wide, use it wisely, use it mindfully, use it lovingly. Okay, and remember, self-care does work, it does. So go and take care of yourself. Go turn off this video and go take care of yourself. But thank you for listening while you did. Uh, if you know somebody who needs to hear this, please share it. And as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll check back with you really soon. Until then.